Does that carb scrape at all? Have you leaned it over on like yeah. with your weight on it? <laughs> I have. It's it turns in so hard. Like I, I haven't even needed to come close. The handling is really good. You know? Oh yeah, I bet. Your suspension looks dope. Is that off like a go kart or something? Um, that is. It's a new shock. It's a like a aftermarket shock it's for uh, Grom originally I mean it's aftermarket for Grom but. and you made the swing arm yeah made the swing arm. I made a lot of stuff on this oh yeah pegs the you made the spacer for that crank motor mount the spacer that whole thing yeah intake the head is like I took a head but then I machined it um like redid it entirely. Is that like a poo can? Um, <clears throat> yeah, maybe I think. Um, it was just something on treats. It's only like 30 bucks, but then I just machined it the way I wanted it. So the compression is really high. I don't know what it is, but it's definitely feel it when you pull on it. The whole triple trees and all that shit. Yeah. Oh, what? You carved Betavis into it? Yeah. What the fuck? That's so nice. So beautiful. You even made the, the races or the cups or whatever? Yeah, because um, I wanted to use like legit bearings, not just the little shit ones. That, yeah. So um, I need to make it bigger. So I made those and then I used uh, like taper bearings Yeah, it handles great though. I'm really pleased with the handling um, That pipe is just from Yeah, Mark's Hobbit. <laughs> yep. I just modified it It so looks good on there. It's a little dicey <laughs> you, um, no, I did. That's just bolted, but just the the foot peg with you got that there. Yeah. And then you got pipe back here. So, um, yeah, a lot of shit like that just needs to be tweaked. I really like the front brake setup though. It, that is um, an EX650, so a big, you know, street bike. And to even fit it, so I made the adapter, and then I made an adapter to fit in the um, drum oh, yeah. from the Tomos wheel. So I could bolt on this disc, which is just some disc. But then I had to, this caliper was so big it would interfere with the wheel. So I actually took it and put it in the bandsaw. <laughs> and you can see what? you can see on that side, yeah, the, the caliper is just chopped. Whoa, shit. So yeah, it is. So it rides, <laughs> it rides <laughs> like right by the... Uh, Oh my god. It's yeah. like a millimeter clearance. <laughs> yeah. But it, it's it seems fine so far. That's rad. But it's it's got so much brake. Way more brake than you can use. Oh yeah. Stoppies. But no back brake? Maybe when it's all I mean, part of it was because I kept having to remove shit and and I just, it's just re more of a hassle. Yeah, retorquing it, it and and then the way it was with the 10 millimeter on there, so it keeps crushing the cable, and the cable gets more and more frayed, and you're poking your hands with it. So I just, I think I just got fed up. <laughs> yeah, <laughs> one day when your thumb was bleeding. Right. Was like, yeah, pretty much. And it, 